E3 2014 came and went, and there was a lot of great, exciting stuff to show. My highlights included seeing Assassin's Creed Unity in action, from Software's Bloodborne reveal, of course a longer look at Hello Games' No Man's Sky, and despite still not quite being sure if that thing is really what Ubisoft claims it is, the division continues to be extremely exciting. There was one thing from the show that I wouldn't have guessed would have excited me as much as it did though, and that's Halo The Master Chief Collection. I don't own an Xbox One. After everything that went down with the launch of the current generation late last year, the PlayStation 4 seemed like the obvious choice between the two, and I haven't regretted it. A lot has happened since then though, and without getting mired down in the details of the two systems, it is becoming the competition it almost always is, and that's a competition about games. Leading into E3, I felt I could easily hold off on getting the Xbox One for a while longer. Forza Horizon 2 looks great, but Drive Club could probably come close to scratching that itch, at least close enough to make justifying the purchase of another $400 console somewhat difficult. Sunset Overdrive is going to offer some colorful action, but I'm not much of a multiplayer guy. Crackdown could be a return to form, but unless it's absolutely amazing, it isn't a must-have, especially if Saints Row keeps doing its outlandish superhero thing. All of these have maybes, what-ifs, and alternatives available. You know what there is no alternative for? Halo. Now before the outcry begins, let me explain. For me, there is no equivalent to Halo. Yes, there are plenty of other great shooters out there, maybe even better ones, but they are not equivalents or alternatives. It's like anything you love. I like science fiction, so that means there are a lot of science fiction movies that I'm into, but I love Star Wars. Maybe not so much in practice anymore, but in theory. There are other science fiction movies out there that are slicker, prettier, and better than Star Wars, but that doesn't matter. Star Wars is a crafted, highly defined thing. It can't have a directly correlating alternative because it's too unique. There are also issues of nostalgia here, and we'll get into that, but my point is, there's a reason we are seeing full HD remasters and now franchise collections on the new consoles. They tap into something more than people's hope and excitement for something new. They provide a promise that they can follow through on, and that promise is, this is definitely for you. I don't need to read a feature list or watch handfuls of trailers or read a single sentence of preview coverage to know that the Master Chief Collection is for me. I know it is. Before we go completely positive on this trend of full HD remasters and collections, let's take a look at some of the cold, hard business reasons these make a lot of sense for publishers, especially early in the cycle of new consoles. It's somewhat cheap. The creative aspects of game creation is a huge chunk of the process. Decisions on game mechanics, story decisions, character choices, art direction, all of this is terribly time consuming and thus expensive, but once they are done, they are done. Bringing finished products to a new platform may be a big technical feat, but easier than the technical feat of building it in the first place, and the creative aspects can be translated almost directly, keeping series on people's minds. We won't be getting a new Tomb Raider until winter 2015 at the earliest, but we do have Tomb Raider the definitive edition to tide us over. We don't have to keep old consoles around to play it, and having it on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One sends a message that Square Enix very much feels the series is not a last gen thing. It's modern. It was fine on 360 and PlayStation 3, but this was the release it really deserved, and was meant to have all along. You know, the definitive version. Halo 5 is on the way next year, but relive the saga the best way possible in the meantime. Making fans feel taken care of. With the right care and messaging, re-releases can say a lot, like with the Master Chief Collection. With this package, Microsoft is saying a ton, including we care a lot about Halo and Halo fans. We have a reverence for the series. Xbox has been about Halo, and that isn't changing with the Xbox One. This all makes people feel like they are being treated well as fans. People will buy it simply to own it. Now this is a funny one. This happens with completely new games as well, but I would argue that it's likely a much larger percentage of purchases with re-releases. Publishers don't even have to sell people on the idea of playing a re-release. I love Halo. I don't know that I will actually go back and play through all of those games, and honestly, it's highly unlikely. 
but I will buy that collection because I love Halo. Adding insult to injury, I bought Halo Anniversary, the original Halo remaster for Xbox 360, and I played the first two levels and never touched it again. But call it stupidity, inability to learn lessons, a propensity to indulge in nostalgia, or whatever else, but I will buy the new collection too. There are more games there, it's on a newer system, it will look even better, it feels like a complete package, I could go on and on. And the point is, many people feel the exact same way, not just about Halo, but a bunch of other games and series. These things are important to us, and we really need little reason to invest again in something we love. I'm sure there are more, but this covers the bases. Re-releases are a pretty solid bet for publishers sitting on series and games that have decent fan bases. People want to play things on their new machines. People love reliving their favorites. And they love when others give care to their favorites, thus validating the feeling that their enjoyment of the thing is justified. Business-minded analyzation aside, I'm a big fan of the HD remaster and series packages. I'm glad they seem to be making financial sense because I want more of them. I was extremely pleased to see The Last of Us get announced for PlayStation 4, and Grand Theft Auto V getting a confirmed release on current generation hardware makes me happy too. EA teased a new Mass Effect game during their E3 2014 press conference. I would love to see a prettied up, carefully handled full HD remaster of the Mass Effect trilogy before that hits. I would absolutely buy that. Publishers and developers seem to be embracing the remaster, even those who have not really bothered in the past like Rockstar, and I think it's a great thing. I want to be able to revisit my favorites in the best possible light, just like everyone else, and it's great to see properties we care about treated well. Do you like remastered re-releases? What games or series would you like to see hit PlayStation 4, or Xbox One, or PC? Let me know in the comments. I've been Jonathan Downen for Fish Tuxedo. Thanks for watching. Connect those Twitter and Facebook accounts to your YouTube profile, hit that like button, and the world will know how smart you are to have found our amazing videos. Thanks.